welcome back to the channel and yes i'm on the lego store i'm not buying any lego uh, i did that on first of august because i went to legoland discovery you watched the video i am here to complain um many people don't like complaining videos but at the end of the day something has to happen like there is a lot going on with lego at the moment and i can see the community like getting quite worked up about it so it's mainly to do with star wars of course um their most expensive you know money earning brand their theme but somehow they seem to mess it up and it's something very simple it's the eyes why are lego now deciding to dump pupils like what they can't afford to print pupils on anymore i someone in my chat uh said something like it's their new style but it's not consistent with all minifigures like i thought it was just like sif that they have the yellow eyes but here we have ezra with blue eyes where he kind of looks spaced out like i just i think if they're human and they have pupils in the movies or in the series or whatever then give them pupils there's no need to take away the pu that's like that's like buying a car with four wheels and then buying the car again down the line and it only having two wheels but costing more if you want to make improvements to things then maybe they should like on their lego pay or on like their lego website or instagram or something and say this is what we're thinking about doing what do you think like should we should we go ahead with the no pupil design and really mix in with you know like we've got obi-wan there who has pupils as a brickhead but yes they are reversed colors but yeah we don't get them on some minifigures now but it would be a great way for lego to kind of get in touch with the community and say look we've got an idea will it work like you know you guys are the one buying the product would you like to see this like the sith lord like emperor's throne room I, I, 90 quid alone is very expensive i have seen it down to 60 sometimes 55 i didn't get it because i don't want that palpatine figure and if i don't want the palpatine figure then i am spending 90 pound on a window some stairs and too many figures it's just yeah it still doesn't equate for it being 90 pound if i liked the palpatine or not but either way given pupils i don't understand why you're taking away something that works like i don't know their meaning behind this and you know another thing that gets me walled up is 90 pound on four droids right four buildable droids and it's only 90 pound because they know that everyone wants that 25th anniversary minifigure that they will never put in another set before you are only getting four droids you know yes they've got some accessories but this is a 90 pound kids toy that we're on about and you know i've got a three-year-old son this year i've probably spent a lot more on him you know more than 90 pound but it's the things that i've bought him that equate to that much money that quality and you know nine pound for four extra large poly bag builds and a exclusive minifigure like it's it's ridiculous and for five pound more you can get this way more enjoyable buildable x-wing and tie fighter and you can swap the wings around and you get more minifigures no they're not exclusive some of them are anyway so yeah like just sort your prices out like and make pupils come back i, I don't know it, it's just it, it's sort of getting a bit too much now at the moment um i somehow think it's only star wars like i am obviously heavily invested in the star wars side of lego i'm deep into the community i speak to a lot of people that are also interested in the star wars but we don't seem to be getting any other confusion around any other themes apart from star wars there is a lot of noise going on like we've got a 50 pound set here we've got thrawn we've got a dodgy looking stormtrooper with some red ribbon print on him two figures we've already got but are wearing different clothing and ahsoka without the white robes and then ezra so lego 
actually came out and said that they priced their figures between like five pound and five dollars or something like that um so you're telling me that this build here is worth 25 pound all these stickers all the labor that we have to put into building this set and these irritating stickers and a gray base plate with four black pillars and stickers is worth 25 pound because you know if their minifigures are worth five pound then you know that's half the price if they're worth three pound then lego come on like it's just getting a bit outrageous at the moment to to think that this is worth 50 pound it's just an absolute no goal i did post on my instagram saying that this is a day one buy i went to discovery center on august 1st i picked up the falcon because generally apart from the c3po that i'm hopefully getting for christmas from the partner i looked at every single set and thought there's no chance of me buying any of these sets on full price I, look, I buy a lot of Lego and I've bought lots of Lego in the past. I'm not being stingy with my money. If I like something and I think it's worth it, then yes, I'll buy it. UCS Falcon, UCS Star Destroyer, etc. I will go and buy these things if they've got the quality to them and for the right price. £50 for this is literally five figures and a grey base plate. It's it, it's starting to become a bit outrageous at the moment, unfortunately. Um... You know, we've got a really small Star Destroyer, some plain looking Imperial minifigures that we've all got in our collection and they're hiding the cow behind it. Lego know what they're doing. They really do. Like it's it's becoming a bit of a debt. You know, there are so many people in the world that is going to, you know, hold and buy Lego Star Wars. Like, you know, me, I will buy Lego Star Wars but they're kind of just like giving us half-hearted sets because they know that we're going to buy them and you know just in case we don't buy them okay we'll stick a 25th exclusive minifigure just behind it if you want to shrink the star destroyer play scale then shrink the price don't be shrinking the star destroyer and then up in the price just because there's a 25th anniversary minifigure in there like it's ridiculous this c3po i thought was a really good build again it's a shame it doesn't have a exclusive minifigure like it would have been cool to have c3po and then maybe something else and then of course the dark falcon i picked that up because the figures are like no other it's awesome the falcon like you'd never you're never going to get a black millennium falcon again like i never thought we would in the first place anyway so yes yeah, absolutely crazy the onyx cinder as well like it's look it, the build is really really cool like i've seen m and productions review on it the build looks fantastic the minifigures i can't connect with them yet because i haven't watched the series it's okay value like it's okay you know it's what 30 quid less than the star destroyer um says a lot really again i can't really connect to it so i haven't really bothered to about buying it and then we've got Jedi Bob Starfighter as well, where you can't really say that you've got three minifigures because it's a gonk droid. So you've got two minifigures. Yes, we've got Jedi Bob back, woohoo, a Starfighter, but they've upped the price and give us one less minifigure. Um, look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. Yes, you've got R2-D2. Um, not R2-D2, sorry. You've got an astromatic droid. So of course you're going to get you know a bit of your value for money because you've got like a a good droid instead of just a gonk droid and then you've got these two sets down here that came out of june they were awesome because they were really cheap it was like one of the cheapest waves ever and i bought every single one of them because they were all so perfect compared to the prettier set that's just yeah a little bit expensive unfortunately um it really is an occurring theme at the moment and it's you know I know that Lego is becoming really expensive, but take this Desert Skiff and Scarlet Pit. It's just so plain and there's nothing to it. And they're hiding an exclusive desirable minifigure behind it so they could up the price. I wait. I am going to buy this set because I think I want the sail barge. If the sail barge looks awesome, then I think this will be a set that I will buy. But these figures right in front of me now just they're just boring like they 
we've had how many times have we had Luke, Han Solo, Chewbacca, the wrong Boba Fett? You are literally buying this to make it look nice to the with the sail barge when that comes out, and then I've sleeved the exclusive minifigure that's got an amazing head mold. But again, 70 quid. No, thank you. I will be waiting until this goes down to 50, 55 in game because game in the UK seems to have like every single Lego set on like 10 to 30 percent off, which is incredible. Um, I don't know how much it's happening with other themes. I know Star Wars is definitely really becoming expensive. It's it's quite unfortunate, to be honest. But yeah, I was at Legoland Discovery Center and I saw a poly bag and it was a Ninjago one and it was five pound and it had two mini figures in it. I mean Lego Star Wars would just never and I know they've got the license in and it's a bit of a boring excuse now but it's yeah it's it's just it's becoming a little bit expensive. Um unfortunately there are there are so many more themes that I'm starting to get into, especially Marvel like Marvel fit like I mean look at that. Look at that ship, the style of it, the build. You can tell that a lot of love has gone into it. It's huge as well. They haven't downsized it. Um, unlike the Star Destroyer, you've got this. Like If this was Star Wars minifigures, you'd extra ten, fifteen pound on top of it. I'm, I don't know how Disney can say that the licensing for Star Wars is more expensive than Marvel. Like it's it shouldn't be happening. Like look at this. 40, 45 pound for a big hulk, four minifigures, and a build. And then you've just looked at the Skylap pit and just, yeah, it's just outrageous. I'm not sure why they're doing it, but unfortunately, that is my moan. Um, there are going to be really good videos coming out soon. I'm getting back into it. I've, you know, just going to start work and stuff. Um, obviously raising two kids and it's a bit crazy at the moment, but yeah, really fun videos are coming out. I just needed to air this because I'm getting a bit stressed out about it at the moment so yeah new lego room is coming um that's going to be a great video and then shopping for more lego sets maybe retired lego sets so yeah perfect thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel